Hi guys, it's Lara from Mad Mimi's Crochet and Farming. And today is Monday afternoon and I'm getting ready to make the whole entire video for tomorrow's edition of a Bod Hat I, uh, I don't know what she's doing. Persephone is outside today. She has been in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. I think this is her fourth time out so far. Uh, Matilda is mad because she's not allowed to go out there with her. Um, I just don't want her to get lost because uh, I'm not standing out there with her. It's too cold to do that. I'd have to put a sweatshirt on. <laughs> so, uh, let's see what this week's Bod Hat a Palooza or Bod's Hat looks like. Um, I don't know where my frozen man head went. Oh, oh, you just attacked that couch. That's a bad couch. Teach it a lesson. I guess the couch is moving. I don't know. I just go with the flow. Okay, so. I can't even. Landslide beanie, I think, was what this hat was. Um, I should have done some more through here because this one is definitely too short for me and I didn't want to just add you know I would have to add like because I like it to go you know down here um I would have to have added a whole lot but um I didn't so this is this is going for donation although this yarn is nice and soft okay so the yarn that I used is big twist tweed i almost said tweeze big twist tweed and the color is navy it does not look navy to me it looks gray it's a medium weight number four a 97 percent acrylic and three percent viscose it is nice and soft um yeah i uh I like it. Um, I like flex in my yarn, unless it is big twist, not big twist, loops and threads fleck. I can fleck and no fleck and like that fleck and yarn. Nope. Mm -mm. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. Big twist tweed, I like. Um, yes, I do like the flex in it. I um, And this is soft. Even with my half, you know, my half numb hands, it is, it's soft to me. Um, I used a G, not a G, a J, six point, or six millimeter, 6.0 millimeter hook to make this. I think um, I might try a K, a 6.5 millimeter next time. I might. Um, I don't know where my stupid frozen man head is, but yes, this is the hat. Um, a lighter color definitely would have done this better justice. Uh, yeah. Darker color, I say keep that for just a regular double crochet beanie because um, it's not showing the stitches very well. Yeah. So, I mean, you can see them, but I think with a lighter color, we could have seen them better. So, next time. Will there be a next time making this one? Definitely, yes. I'd like to make one to fit me. We shall see, but this one is going to go this week to get donated. Excuse me. Okay, so this yarn I'm going to put back up here. So, uh, there we go. Whoa. That way, uh, I'll have that and it can, um, go somewhere, go to something else. Not a hat. Um, it's too dark for a hat. So this one's going in the box. I have one, two, three, four. 
four boxes filled and I'm working on number five. So there we go, putting that there. So are we ready to find out what hat is going to be done next week? I think I am. I think I am. Here we go. Here it is. Here it is. Okay. I have not added new numbers yet. I am so far behind with everything. This has been... This week has just been one of our worst weeks. Or, you know, last week, I should say, is one of our worst weeks. Um with the anniversary of my daughter and granddaughter's murder and then also my grandson's birthday and we're really hoping we get to see him soon so here we go okay i picked out a hair all right, I have two. There we go. Here's this one. Let's find out what number. Mary Ann picks another one. All righty. Mary Ann pick number 63. All right, so let's find out if number 63 is available. Oh, uh, it would help if I got the right. Um, there we go. Here's number one. Nobody has picked number one yet. Okay, so 63, is that what I said? 63. Come on, 63. Uh-huh. Hi, everybody. This is Christmas. It's I cannot tell a lie. It's one I was not looking forward to. Um, but I, ha I actually have not made this one at all. Um, so, Marianne, we are going with your number 63. Uh, where's my book? Where's my book? I don't know. I'll find I must have put it in a different box. I don't know. I'll stick this in here. But we are going with um it's called a shooting star unisex beanie. It is tutorial number 634. 634. So, as soon as I find my book, I will put that in there. Um, I'm not sure what yarn she uses. Hers is variegated, it looks like. Yeah, it looks variegated. Um, I'm not sure how much she, she needs, because, of course, I just drew it. And I haven't done any research on it. Um, so, yeah, a shooting star, a shooting star unisex beanie is the beanie for here. If you don't like this one, making this one, you can holler at Mary Ann, the crotchety clogger. Yeah, baby. So, um, that's all I got until I find my book. <laughs> I really, uh, I really need that book. I don't know where it went, but that is okay. I have a notebook for every project, so I must have stuck it in a different, different, uh, tote. That's all right. I'll find it. So, um, don't forget to stay, um, stay tuned. Watch all the way to the end so you can see what everybody's beanies looked like see what yarns they used um all that kind of stuff so um that's all i have so thank you guys for watching you guys have a great day and i will talk to you next time bye bye <laughs>